Hi, I'm Scott. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, it's been snowing here in Michigan in late November, which quite frankly, if you ask me, is a perfect time to barbecue. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to spatchcock a turkey and cook it on the big green egg here. Now this is the week after Thanksgiving. I didn't do it for Thanksgiving. We had a relatively small family affair this time. So we went downtown, had a very civilized Thanksgiving at the club. But uh, when you do that, the problem is you don't have leftovers. So here we are the weekend after Thanksgiving. We don't have any leftovers. So what better thing to do is cook another turkey all the way through. And I'm going to do it in a way that I've never done before, spatchcocking, which is basically flipping the turkey over. And you can see here I scored down each side of the spine then use some kitchen shears to cut through the bones. I went down, you know, one way on each side, then spun it around down the other way. Right in the middle, there's, I don't know what bone it is, but there's a heavier bone. It took a little more coercing to, to bust through. Then you turn it back over with the breast up and just like you're performing CPR, you press down on the breast and I got, I got to admit, it gives a very satisfying snap when the breast breaks. Then it lies everything flat uh, and the point of that is now everything's kind of on the same plane so the breasts and the thighs and everything will, will cook at the same time. I then dry brined it for, it's been about four or five hours now. I think in theory you're supposed to do it longer. 24 hours would have been ideal, uh, but I didn't do that because um, I wasn't prepared. And dry brined it in a combination of kosher salt, some baking powder, which I've never done before, but I hear the baking powder really helps crisp up the, sc the skin, and then some um, additional a dry rub I put on top and you'll see that here in a second. Um, so then I'm going to put it on the egg at 350 degrees. I'm, it's, a, it's a very small turkey, it's only about nine pounds. So I'm guessing this is only gonna take a couple hours. Um, so I've got it all set up here. You can see here's my nice flat spatchcocked turkey. And I'm gonna just go ahead and put that on right now and I'm just gonna pick him up place him right here on the grill tuck the wings under I'm gonna do it on indirect heat and then I've got a probe here that has both the temperature of the grill itself and then I'll put this into the breast And we'll be going for 165 or so, I think, temperature-wise. So that is ready to go. Of course, I have an appropriate beverage for being out here cooking. This one is actually, I'll link it above here. I barrel-age my own bourbon. Took some uh, Buffalo Trace White Dog, they call it, and I'll link it above here barrel aged it in a small little mini barrel um, for I think it was three months, it was a three-part series and this is what came of it. 
Um, and actually, I kind of enjoy it. It was crystal clear when it went into the barrel. Now it's got this nice little color here you can see. And the taste has really, really matured while it was in the barrel. If you're interested in that type of thing, I, I recommend you take a look. So that's it. Now we're just going to sit back and wait. I imagine it'll be a couple hours and I'll see you back when the cook is over. All right, it's a couple hours later. It's now snowing. I've changed into my barber coat because it's just too freaking cold out here. And let's take a look together. It, the probe is saying 170-ish on the bird. And it looks okay. First time I've done this with this dry brine, so it's a little, not exactly golden brown. Clearly done by the way the meat's pulled off the legs there. So let's pull that out. Ouch. That was hot. And we'll take this guy off, plate him up, and I'll let you know the end result. Okay, aesthetically, the turkey may have been a, I don't know, five. But taste-wise, it's a ten. I think I'm going to call this one a win. And as you can see, just like that, the weather has changed again. That's what happens here in Michigan. The uh, turkey was delicious. It didn't look exactly the way I wanted it to, but uh, I'll work on that. Spatchcocking is definitely something I will try again. If you like this, hit the like, subscribe, and bell button, and I'll see you again soon here in the arena.